You can now cast your ballot early for the May 4th primary election. Julie Kreisen joins us now with details on early voting. Julie? Jeff, the first vote center location opened today at University Place in West Lafayette, and several other locations throughout the county will also open this week. Anybody can vote early. You don't have to have a reason. Election Board co-director Heather Maddox says with exciting races in this year's primary election, people should make sure to get out and vote. People get excited about a presidential race, but this year there are some important races. I mean, it's county races, it's uh, Congress, it's, it's things that really do affect your everyday life, um, even more so than the presidential. So when it comes to local government and your congressman, you really want to have a say in that. At University Place in West Lafayette, several people took advantage of the early voting centers, including Eva Goebel. I went through and tried to decide which people I knew. She's 99 years old and says she's never missed voting in an election. I think it's very important for everybody to vote because we're in a mess and we're going to have to have good, intelligent people to get us out. The former Purdue Dean of Home Economics has a message for people who don't vote. It seems to me they're missing an opportunity to participate in government, and everybody should participate some way. So they might as well let their voice be heard. Resident Sid Sorensen, who is 100 years old, also cast his ballot Monday afternoon. Voting. And why? Why were you voting? Why? That's a privilege. Tuesday and Wednesday, you can cast your ballot early at the Purdue University Stewart Center from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. On Thursday, you can vote at Green Tree at West Lafayette from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Friday, voting will be at the Friendship House from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. And starting Saturday, you can vote at long-term sites for the next nine days. Those locations include Faith Community Center and the Payless stores at Beck Lane, Greenbush Street, and in West Lafayette. They will be open from noon until 7 p.m. In other election news, the Tippecanoe County Commissioners accepted a $25,000 grant to upgrade polling locations. The money is coming from the Indiana Secretary of State's office through the Help America Vote Act. Clerk Linda Phillips says some of the money will be spent to pave the Randolph Township Fire Department parking lot. The rest will be used to buy door openers, signs, and privacy screens for the vote centers. Julie Kreisen, News Channel 18.